Hello guys, um, as you may know, I'm a professional pilot, helicopter pilot and flight instructor. Bear with me some problem with my uh, computer and also bear the fact that uh, all the explanation is in French, but I will explain to you in English. Uh, it, it's not that important to read what is written, but mostly it's to see the picture that I have created to explain the state of vortex. So first of all, we have to define what is vortex in order to understand and in order to avoid this state. Vortex is when we have no lift and the helicopter is spelling down completely vertically. And even though we try to lift collective, there is no resolution. We we'll keep going down even more faster. And it's very dangerous uh, situation in which a, a pilot helicopter can find himself. Uh, before understanding, uh, the vortex state, we have to talk about uh, the speed of fraud. This kind of speed explains the different speeds that has the air entering the rotor disc and exiting the rotor disc. Here we have this picture. And look, my hand. This kind of air here, in this situation, is entering the rotor disc and is V0 as a certain speed. When it's going, it's passing the rotor disc, it's going down the rotor disc, it has another certain kind of speed, which is double the speed of entering the rotor disc. And of course, this here is very turbulent. And during normal forward speed, forward flying, this here will actually slide laterally and free the helicopters from this turbulence. So now we understand that the correlation with vortex is that when the helicopter is falling down vertically, it's actually, it's actually recapturing this turbulent air. Otherwise, we'll have to slide laterally and leaving the helicopter free. Now, now, this picture is very clear. This is the state of vortex which we can find ourselves, or at least the beginning of that state. As you can see, the rings that are created at the tips of the rotor blades which determine the fact that the blades will be unable to create lift and as such the rotor blades, as such the helicopter will fall down vertically. Now, why this happened, um, like to repeat another time, is because the helicopter by falling down is recapturing this air that otherwise would slide laterally, which is turbulent. This turbulent air, by being recaptured, is creating this vortex here. And that is what happened. The blades as vortex rings, not any longer a flow of air from up to down, but eventually as a, this all this circle around the blades. And this situation uh, make impossible to create lift as such a helicopter is falling down. Uh, to even have a more a clear picture of the situation, we can I can show you this picture here. We have the rotor disc. Imagine this is the rotor, the line, the hypothetical line of the rotor disc. And this is how the air enters in a normal propel um, state. You see, the air is coming from up, it's going down. We have forward speed. So, the air after coming in is freeing the rotor disc by sliding laterally. In this case, we have no vortex, and our indicated speed is more than zero. In this other picture here, as you can see, this is the beginning of the vortex state. Why? But you can see here already that we have a certain air that is entering from up and going down. But other air is starting entering from down and going up. So it's starting to create a kind of turbulence. Why while, while this is happening? Well, because our speed is approaching zero. So we have almost no forward speed. And we have... An, Eventually, a certain rate of descent, which is superior to 400 um, uh, feet per minute. So we have a certain level of rate of descent. And the third picture is very clear. We are in the vortex state. There is no, uh, it's very clear this. And you see, we have our forward speed is zero. We have indicated speed zero. Or at least we have indicated speed uh, indicated speed zero, and we have a rate of descent in between 400 uh, feet per minute to 
1000 uh, feet per minute. In this case, we are recapturing all the turbulence here that otherwise will have slide laterally, freeing the rotor disc from this turbulence, and it's creating all this vo uh, rock vortex. So now, this picture here explains another position, another perspective, the same situation. As you can see, this is a propel working state. So the air, we have forward speed, the air is coming from up to down, freeing the helicopter laterally. This is the auto rotative state. In this case, we have forward speed, and our speed and our rotor disc is moved by the air coming from down to up. This is the auto rotative outer state and as you can see we have a certain rate of descent but in no of these two cases we have vortex rings so we have no turbulence in these two cases instead in this third case here we have of course no forward speed and we are recapturing this vortex this turbulent air which is creating this vortex and we are falling down and we are in that rate of descent between 400 to 1000 and here we are Vortex ring fell down vertically, no resolution for that, very dangerous. As always, you should avoid this kind of situation which you find yourself in. But in the case in which, in any way you have done, uh, you may took several bad decisions, or you find yourself in a very bad, bad situation, you are in a vortex state. What should, should you should do to recover from it? Well, the first solution is the classic recovery which uh, eventually gives you the possibility to exit this state of no lift by putting your cycling forward, just putting your cycling forward and lowering your collective if you have enough high. In this case, you leave that state of no lift and you are again forward speed and you are recharging the rotor disc and you are, ex um, you are out of the vor vor vortex. So th your blades are able again to create lift and to regain altitude and to fly again. Another recovery is the Vaucherard uh, recovery, which in this case you leave the state of no lift by sliding laterally. And you see you put a little bit of cyclic on your right and then you raise the collective and you push your foot on the left so on the pedal on the left so you will slide kind of sliding on your side and then you live in this state of no lift uh, as i was saying you always have to try to avoid situation which can create a state of vortex so never reduce your forward speed too much especially during flying especially if you have not enough experience uh, avoid turbulence and also uh, avoiding doing an um, out of ground effect over. Never hovering uh, if you have not enough experience. Never do an overing outside ground effect if you have not enough experience. And even if you have enough experience, try to avoid this state, especially if you are, if you are downwind, which are all uh, the situation which can create the vortex. So avoiding downwind, avoiding approaching a dropping zone downwind, always trying to land or approaching in the uh, dropping zone, having the wind forward. So always read your meter, try to know where is the wind coming from and always try to land toward the, uh, in front of the wind, never wind downwind as you have learned. And always try to have a forward speed that you should read that on your a pilot manual of your helicopter, so which are the speed for landing and the speed for taking off. You always should respect what the constructor said. And what else? Well, in the case you are doing a precision approach, so you are doing dropping zone, you are doing precision approach. Always, if you are decreasing proportionally your speed, your indicated speed, try to decrease proportionally your rate of descent. Always, when you are around 300 uh, feet per minute and you have a very low speed, like 30, 30 um, knots. Always try to make sure that you have wind on, on your face, so you are, you are actually in front of the wind, and your rate of descent is a little bit lower than 300 feet per minute. In this case, you are avoiding to enter in vortex, because when you do too much your forward speed, and you are close to the ground, you are actually losing that effect of sustainability than the speed gives to you. And by doing that, 
you are losing even more lift. So when you reduce too much, your forward speed and your rate of descent is in that kind of in between 400 and 1000. You always have to be very careful. You always try to avoid the situation which uh, you have to you either have to do an approach almost vertical, especially if you have no enough experience to do so, or another other case, if you are reducing your forward speed, always try to be in front of the wind, if you have to do it, to reduce your forward speed. Try always to avoid this situation because entry a vortex ring is a dangerous situation and recovering from it uh, is important, but it's also difficult. So try to avoid all the situation. Uh, with this, I, uh, well, I am, I'm done for today and I hope that I was clear. As always, leave comments and okay, I will see you next time. Bye bye.